Planes release a lot of greenhouse gas emissions, and experts say there's a long road ahead for the aviation industry before it becomes sustainable. There's two huge things that have to happen. One is we have to transition away from burning fossil fuels, um, just like other sectors. And the other is we have to improve the energy efficiency of the, the aircraft. So those two things together, potentially we can greatly reduce our effect on climate change. Biofuels, hydrogen, and hybrid electric aircraft are all possible technologies that could significantly lower emissions. So biofuel is grown as a crop, so that consumes CO2 while it's growing, and then when it's burned, it emits the CO2 and they, they balance. Now, it's not a necessarily net zero because of processing and transporting the fuel and other things, but it's certainly going to lead to a big reduction compared to burning uh, jet fuel. In 2018, it was approved that aircraft could fly with jet fuel containing a blend of up to 50% ethanol. However, biofuels still have a number of hurdles, such as the concern about growing crops for energy instead of human consumption. Anytime you have a, an energy source which is sustainable or green, I think you want to use it really wisely. And using it wisely means being energy efficient. So we can design aircraft to be and engines to be more energy efficient and and if we couple that with getting cleaner fuel, greener fuels, then we can, we can have a green industry. Collaborative efforts between both private companies and governments are needed for developing more sustainable aviation technologies. If Airbus and Boeing quadruple their research budgets, then more things become feasible and we can make more efficient aircraft um, faster. So I think we need uh, I guess a carrot and a stick from policymakers and from government. So the stick is the regulations, but the carrot has to be funding support. So I think the government has an enormous role in this. One way consumers can lower their carbon footprint when flying is by traveling in buses or trains when available or choosing a flight with the lowest emissions. I think that we've actually kind of gone the opposite way, right? We've gone to cut rate airlines, we've gone to, you know, cheapest possible ticket prices, we've got the online uh, travel things that let you price compare and, and get to the lowest price. And that's encouraging airlines to fly older airplanes and uh, not replace their fleet because that would cost money and would put their prices up. So it's uh, kind of a downhill spiral right now. Uh, if you want to fly, um, but you are concerned about the impact of flying on climate change, then at least try to choose the flight that will have the least impact, if you can.